President Lincoln once instructed us to be sure to put your feet in the right place, then stand firm. Today in Springfield, I know my feet are in the right place. And I'm proud to stand firm with the next President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. Barack and I come from very different places, but we share a common story, an American story. He was the son of a single mom, a single mom who had to struggle to support her son and her kids, but she raised him. She raised him to believe in America, to believe that in this country there was no obstacle that could keep you from your dreams if you're willing to work hard and fight for it. I was different. I was an Irish Catholic kid from Scranton with a father who, like many of yours, in tough economic times, fell on hard times. But my mom and dad raised me to believe. It's a saying Barack you heard me say before, my dad repeated and repeated. The champ is not how many times you get knocked down, it's how quickly you get up. It's how quickly you get up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your story. That's America's story. It's about if you get up, you can make it. That's the America Barack and Obama and I believe in. That's the American dream. And ladies and gentlemen, these are no ordinary times. And this is no ordinary election. Because the truth of the matter is, and you know it, that American dream under four years, eight years of Bush and McCain, that American dream is slipping away. I don't have to tell you that. You feel in your lives. You see in your shrinking wages and the cost of everything from groceries to health care to college to filling up your car at the gas station. It keeps going up and up and up. And the future keeps receding further and further and further away as you reach for your dreams. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it is not a mere political saying. I say with every fiber of my being, I believe we cannot as a nation stand four more years of this. We cannot afford to keep giving tax cuts after tax cuts to big corporations and the wealthiest Americans, while the middle-class America, middle-class families are falling behind and their wages are actually shrinking. We can't afford four more years of a government that does nothing while they watch the housing market collapse. As you know, it's not just the millions of people facing foreclosure, it's the tens of millions of your neighbors who are seeing the values of their homes drop off a cliff along with their dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, your kitchen table's like mine. You sit there at night before you put the kids, after you put the kids to bed and you talk. You talk about what you need. You talk about how much you're worried about being able to pay the bills. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's not a worry John Kane has to worry about. <laughs> it's a pretty hard experience. He'll have to figure out which of the seven kitchen tables to sit at. Well, it's on. He's, 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 he